a shadow. A shadow. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. This man came to complain about the noise in the masjid during Eid and went home as a Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. On the day of Eid al-Fitr, the people gathered at the masjid in Gold Coast, Australia, dressed in their best clothes, perfumed with the nicest aromas, smiling and looking forward to the Eid Salah. They came in troves, nodding joyfully at each other, acknowledging their presence, and putting forth their hands in salam while reciting the takbir all along. Eid al-Fitr takbir is an integral part of Islamic tradition, reflecting the deep spiritual significance of the festival. It is an expression of joy and gratitude, a celebration of the blessings of Allah, and a reminder of the importance of faith and devotion in the life of a Muslim. The dhikr is a powerful symbol of unity and community. It is performed individually and in groups of people from all walks of life and backgrounds. Muslims recite the Eid al-Fitr takbir loudly from sundown on the last day of Ramadan until the beginning of the Eid prayer, which is conducted the next morning. The recitation of takbir in Eid al-Fitr is a beautiful and uplifting experience. It is a way of bringing Muslims together and creating a sense of community and unity. The sound of thousands of people reciting the same phrase in unison is awe-inspiring and fills the heart with joy and happiness. Brotherhood in Islam is highly encouraged, and Eid is a manifestation of the unity and brotherhood encouraged and fostered by the Muslim brethren. The children are always the most excited at Eid. They are fully aware they'll be entitled to little gifts, money, and plenty of sweets and candy. As the masjid filled with devotees, the takbir being chanted in unison, the little kids screaming and playing, and the friendly banter of the worshippers, the area indeed became noisy. Across the road from the masjid stood a center for aged persons, and we all know that as people age, they enjoy peace and quiet. An old man who resides at the center for aged persons and Gold Coast could not handle the sound from the masjid, and he walked across the road with his stick for assistance to complain about the excessive noise from the masjid that morning. He entered and complained to a person named Hajj Hussein Goss, who happened to be an active Muslim preacher in Australia. Now, this preacher, knowing the authentic Islamic way of handling people, and showing akhlaq, good conduct, sat down with this old man named Brian for a good 10 to 15 minutes. He offered him food to take back with him, and upon the completion of the conversation, Brian, convinced by the encounter with the preacher, had voluntarily made the decision to convert to Islam. He repeats the shahada, the testimony of faith, in both Arabic and English. After Hussein Goss and the rest is an outpour of emotion and congratulation embraces and wishes from the congregation of devotees at the masjid. Brian is accepted as a brother in Islam, and he visits the masjid for Jum'ah prayers on Fridays, where he meets a large number of people. The people tell him he is fortunate to have been guided to the truth at his ripe old age, a sign that Allah loves him and has destined a better afterlife for him. Upon acceptance of Islam, a new Muslim is like a newborn baby, free of all sins. And this brother got this tremendous opportunity to be guided and have all his past sins forgiven. If a person keeps his heart free of bad thoughts and intentions and is open to the truth, the guidance of Allah will inevitably come. Two weeks post his conversion to Islam, Brian says he feels a deep connection and feels fantastic. This connection to Allah and his religion stems from purity of heart and sincerity within each individual. Continuing the good conduct, akhlaq, the people 
from the Gold Coast Masjid invited Brian and eight residents from the center for the aged persons for a sumptuous lunch. They welcomed them, made them feel comfortable, and gave them all a translation of the Quran at the end. The residents were beyond happy. Many people applauded the preacher for the way in which he dealt with the Muslims despite first entering the mosque to complain. May Allah bless him with the highest of rewards. Ameen. May the people of the Gold Coast Masjid be blessed with the best too for their hospitality, kindness, and warmth towards the residents of the aged care center. Ameen. Islam is a religion of peace, diversity, unity, and brotherhood. If anyone tells you otherwise, do your own research and start moving alongside the Muslims in your area and be surprised by their good conduct and manners.